Another win or go home game, this time for both sides. Best of three series here and the New Year's Cup run back. Whoever wins this gets themselves $1,000 and a chance to play for $2,000 as they make it to the final four. So we're going for 204 more likes on the video. Subscribe if y'all are new. Comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. This is going to be a great game. Rocking with that same team, of course. Playing Otoxie, who we've played hopefully the last two days. The videos are going up back to back to back. This is game three. Winner gets 1000 a trip to the final four, and a chance to play for more. Let's have a good game. Let's have fun. All right, guys. Again, playing the mob. Game three. The mob Otoxie. We're playing Otoxie. Feller on the mound for us. Seaver on the mound for them. 299s. I'm glad it's not Hersizer again. Babe Ruth, Willie Mays, Chipper, Max Muncy, Trey Mancini, Cody Bellinger, Devin, Brandon Crawford, Tom Seaver. Really hoping it for just a scoreless top of the first inning to start this game. Yeah. Willie Mays. Two strike count. Leave a slider in a hittable spot. And uh, that's a one on base hit top of the first inning. Ball for to Chipper. Wow, I thought we painted the corner there. That's not going to cut it, man. I can't be walking, guys. Max Muncy double play ball. Come on. Let's go. What a beautiful double play. Getting out of trouble on our way to the bottom of the first. Willie Mays, huge home run in the first inning, guys. Taking the lead. There we go. Cody Bellinger, 3 1 count. Inside sinker. Ties the game here. Top of the second, one down. Ernie Banks hits it decently. Straight to the second baseman, though. Second out, bottom of the third inning. Ball four to Willie Mays. What am I doing? Oh, my goodness. When I try to hit the corner, I'm either leaving it over the middle or way on side. Like, there's no one in between for me right now, and it's uh, it's not good. Ball four to Chipper. Back-to-back two-out walks here. That's not going to cut it, man. As Muncy flies out, we're escaping danger again. Walks are going to kill me, though, man. They're really going to kill me. Trey Mancini, leadoff base hit. I'm not locating pitches right now, guys. I'm either missing way out of the zone or leaving it down the middle. It's not looking good for me in terms of locating at the moment. Cody Bellinger, second homer of the game. I'm convinced Bob Feller doesn't have a good control rating because I'm getting good release even into the circle, and it's going, like, way... Not where I was aiming that one. Let me just, let me see his control real quick, what it is. It's 85, okay, it's just, I don't know. Even when, like I'm missing my spots a lot too, but even when I'm hitting them, it's not going where I want it at all. Ball for the babe, there we go. One out walk here, bottom of inning number, I want to say five, I don't remember though. Bottom of inning number four, Pete Alonso coming up. A home run would be huge and tie it. I only have one hit this game, by the way. It's Willie Mays homer. I'm not seeing the ball well right now. Pete Alonso popping out, man. It was a full count, though. We had a good uh, good at-bat, full count. Dropped the PCI a little bit. Joey Gallo coming up. He has the power to tie the game. He really does. Joey Gallo on top of it, man. Dang it, I'm getting under it a lot of the game, and then all of a sudden I get on top of it after four. It's three to one. I only have one hit, man. I got to start hitting way better than I am now if I want a chance to win this game and I want a chance to come back. As Babe Ruth hits a home run, yeah, so... I need to start doing a little bit better at the plate and obviously pitching too. Ernie Banks, there we go. Lead off base hit, bottom of the fifth inning, tying run at the plate. Max Muncy hits it well into the gap, probably hanging up though. Yeah, Willie Mays easily running it down. Dang, man, that's some of my better contact in the game too. I'm struggling right now at the plate. Gary Sanchez double play. Good Lord, I'm struggling hardcore this game at the plate. I'm way late on stuff, or I'm early on stuff. My PCI placement's not good. I'm just, I'm not doing anything right now. Trey Mancini, lead off base hit here. Top of inning number six. I'm going to take out Bob Feller soon. I think if we give up a run in this inning, I'll take him out. I can't locate with him at the moment. All game, it's been like that. Cody Bellinger flying out. There we go. That's a big out number one. Let's try to get a double play to get out of it. Devin Mesoraco flying out for out number two. There we go. Brandon Crawford. Flying out, popping out, on our way to the bottom of the sixth inning. I got to start doing something, man. Two hits, one of them, pretty much a jammed hit or whatever. Like, this is not going to cut it for me, Jordan. I need you to get a rally started. Jordan Alvarez, there we go. I need to start making good contact, leading off with the pinch hit double. That's so huge for me, man. Chipper, I got a pitch to hit, man. That's tough. Oh, I needed that to go foul. Willie Mays, no, I need that to get through. Dang, man, that's tough right there. Babe, Ruth the other way, beat it out. Brandon Crawford's amazing. We're going to beat it out. Cutting the lead to two. Pete Alonzo, please. This would tie the game. 
Nearly warning track power. Dang, man. We're seeing the ball better, though. I leaned in. We're doing better now. Ball for to Willie Mays. Man, <laughs> I haven't located all game, and walks are going to come back to bite me for sure. As Tripper Jones checks his swing, we should have him out here. Let's go, man. That's big. All right, guys. Down to my final nine outs. We're down by two. Joey Gallo, Ernie Banks, Max Muncy. I want at least one in this inning. I want to cut the lead to at least one. Joey Gallo pitched down the middle, and I dropped the PCI. <sighs> I'm not going to win if I'm hitting like this, man, especially with Joey Gallo up. Max Muncy, let's go, baby. Cutting the lead to one. That's huge, man. It's caught on the warning track. What? No. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> I really thought that was gone. One, two, three, top of the eighth inning. At least one, man. At least one in the bottom of the eighth now. Rizzo huge. No, dang, man. Oh, I thought that was going to be a hit for sure. Okay, down to my final four outs, guys, in the tournament. We had the top of my lineup coming up, though. Yeah, man, 107. That's tough. Shaper, come on, baby. Let's go. Tying run at the plate in the form of Willie Mays, who has a home run for me today. His second homer would be so huge. Willie Mays, man. Chasing one. Down to my final three outs, y'all. Shoot. Ah, uh, that's not what I should be doing right there. One, two, three, top of the ninth inning. Let's try to tie it at least, guys. Bottom of the ninth, I need to take it one batter, one pitch at a time. Here we go. Babe, oh, I thought we tied, or I thought we cut the lead to one. How early? Probably very early, yeah. Oh, f striking out with Babe, man. Pete Alonzo, let's go, man, please. I need this. Don't be a warning track fly out. Warning track fly out, down to my final out. Mmm, man. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Joey Gallo, we lose. Dang it, man. At least we took it to three. We made $500. We lost to Otoxi, who won the Fall Cup, but at least we made it to three games, and at least we had a close final game in the series and everything. I just uh, I picked up my bats way too late in the game. The first five or six innings, probably five innings, I wasn't doing anything. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow any of those socials, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. That was a lot of fun. I'm super excited for MLB 20, more ESL tournaments, more competitive stuff, and just to continue to try to improve as an MLB The Show player. For the last little bit of this video, I just kind of want to talk about the next week or so until MLB 20 comes down. Also, I just want to say one more time, I appreciate all the love, all the support just every single day, but especially this past week, you guys have seemed to just love these intense competitive games for the ESL tourney and I'm sad that I didn't make it further but I'm glad that I made it this far right I'm one of eight people who made it this far so that's definitely no small feat and I'm definitely happy to have just made it this far have won $500 I wish we could have gone further and everything and ended up playing Cougs but Otoxi ended up getting the best of me and then I obviously blew that save in game one man I need to get my pitching down a little bit in MLB 20 but I appreciate the love I appreciate the support and I have a feeling just from what I've seen and kind of what they've talked about on the dev streams and everything and just with these fall cup new year's cup stuff like that I feel like there's gonna be plenty of more events in MLB 20 to have high level gameplay like this right competitive gameplay and I'm hoping there's gonna be a lot of opportunities to get videos like this for you guys during MLB 20. I feel like there probably should be, so I'm definitely excited for that. And the big thing is, man, until first pitch weekend, early release of MLB 20, it comes out Thursday at 11 p.m. my time. I'm Central Coast time, okay? So that's what? Five days? Like five and a half days, kind of? So we don't have that much time. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for videos. Five videos that I need to do before 20 comes out. And let me tell you guys, I have not played and will not play, okay, for about a week after you guys see this video. It's been about a week from Sunday's video since I've played. I'm going to be taking a break from MLB, doing some schoolwork, stuff like that, and just taking a break from the game before 20 comes out. Obviously, we need to play the game and everything, but I don't want to play 19. I'm ready for 20, but we have five days of videos that we need to get done. And if you guys have anything specific, if you guys are watching right now, you have anything specific that you maybe want to see from a video, let me know. I'm honestly thinking probably a few Battle Royale drafts just for fun. A pack opening, I'm thinking a pack opening the last day of MLB 19, probably Thursday's video. On Wednesday, I'm thinking maybe 
selling all my duplicates or something like that because that would take an entire video that actually got a lot of love last year when we did that so i'm thinking thursday we do a pack opening to cap off the year a big pack opening have fun hopefully wednesday we sell my duplicates probably is what i'm thinking so that leaves tuesday monday sunday probably a battle royale draft at least one of those days maybe all three who knows man there, there's not that much that i want to do on the game there's really not i don't want to try to get to world series this season just because it's going to take way too much time like we'll see what happens i'm really not sure but we got two of the five days planned for and if you guys have any ideas maybe i'll look in the comments and everything for some but otherwise probably just going to do some br draft stuff like that i'm just ready for 20 and i wanted to thank you guys one more time for the insane amount of love and everything that you guys have been showing just every day but especially the last few weeks that we've been doing these competitive videos and stuff like that it's been a lot of fun and it makes me hopeful for more tournaments in mlb 20 i'll see you guys next time i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day my bad for talking so much at the end but I just had to thank you guys again and then kind of let you guys know what was going on. I'll see you next time. Peace out.